everyone. It is Monday, August 24th. And I just got home from work a little bit ago. And I listened to Through the Storm by Beverly Jenkins. She's amazing. I just love her. She writes historical romance. If you've never read her before, you need to because you learn so much. It's not just an epic, amazing, sensual romance. It is just full of history. I learned so much. I love it. I love, I love reading Beverly Jenkins. Love it, love it, love it. Uploading, currently uploading my blog. It still says it's processing. Hopefully that'll go up by 6, 6.30ish. We'll see. Um, and then I got two packages. Uh, one is from April. I'm not sure what they are, but we'll find out together. I need, a, I need scissors. There they are. Okay, so let's see what I got from April. Uh, she left, got me a little uh, bookmark that has a little note on here. Hi, I finally made it to the Ripped Bodice in California, so I had to get a little something for you. Heart April. She's so freaking sweet. Um, I want to go to the Ripped Bodice so freaking bad. It's a romance bookstore in California. So she, ooh, she got me some tea. It's called Can You Zip Me Up? It's a lemon ginger loose leaf tea. Oh, I want to open it and smell it. Mm, that smells so good. That's, that's like an excellent summertime tea. I love that. And then she got me a bookmark. It says Smart Girls Read Romance. I love it. I will have to message her. That is so freaking so sweet of her so sweet and then let's see with this other one. Oh my this is another gift from stephanie at steph's romance book talk <laughs> oh and it's a jr ward prisoner of night awesome i love jr ward so much mm. love it love it love it can't wait to read it. It's going to be amazing. So I will have to message them. How sweet. I love getting presents. <laughs> All right. So um, I have no idea what I'm going to read or listen to since I finished uh, Through the Storm. I did bring with me to work um, A Touch of Stone and Snow. I've been saying I have to read this book for like ever and I just haven't, I haven't done it. And so I really do need to read this. I have so many books left on my summer fling tbr so i gotta figure it out i'm on season six of teen wolf i watched all of season five basically yesterday <laughs> so season six here we are and there is a specific episode that i can't wait to watch and um it's gonna be bittersweet the last season Woo! So, funny story, I'm just sitting in the house watching Teen Wolf when we hear this, like, crashing sound. Uh, husband went up on the roof and the shaft in our motor for our AC went out, like, completely broken. So, we need a completely new motor for our AC. Thank goodness we have the camper that we can just plug in to the outlet in the house and this AC works great. Uh, so we're sleeping in the camper tonight. Great. Awesome. It's still 100 degrees outside and it's 1030. We're fine. Hi everyone. It is Tuesday, August 25th. It's almost 430, almost time for the Romance Tubers live stream. And I'm in my house. My AC is still broken. And so I walked in and it is 92 degrees in my house, um, but nothing is going to keep me away from these lovely ladies as we go live and read tonight. As soon as my husband gets home, hopefully he'll be able to fix uh, what went wrong. Hopefully he ordered the part sometime today because if not, we're going to have to sleep in our camper again. And I mean, it's just not the same as your bed. At least you have somewhere like you can go, but it's not the same as your own bed, you know? So uh, today I started reading The Deal by L. Kennedy. I'm gonna continue reading that for the Romance Troopers live stream. And 
Uh, my vlog is currently up <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. It was supposed to be up yesterday at six, but it was like stuck in processing for like ever. So I just deleted it and then re-uploaded it and it worked just fine. So it was really weird um, how that happened. But um, so yeah, that is available for you. And last night I watched 10 episodes of Teen Wolf. And I finally got to the episode that I have been waiting for. I'll insert a clip. Don't you worry about it because I know you want to know what scene it is if you've watched Teen Wolf. Um, if you don't want spoilers, probably fast forward <laughs> until you don't see the clip anymore. It was everything I wanted and more. But um, so I'm going to go live here in a few minutes and then I will update you a little later. I didn't see it back. I have to. Hey everybody, uh, we just got done with the Romance Tubers live stream. Sorry if you're hearing that noise. Uh, my husband is doing some work, hopefully on our air conditioning because it is so hot in my house. I'm literally sweating. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, um, I did uh, buy a book today and then I got some more book mail. So um, the book that came out today that I got was Thick as Thieves by Sandra Brown. Y'all know I love Sandra Brown so much. Every Like she is really good about uh, putting out a book a year. So um, I love her so much. I met her and she is like the sweetest human being ever. She's so nice. And I honestly, like she's my favorite author. I love her suspense romance. So I cannot wait to read this book. And then I got some more book mail. So this is from, my dogs are barking, I'm sorry. So this is from uh, Steph because she said she ordered me another book. She went crazy. So she got me my Bulbasaur. Funko Pop that's over here and then she got me uh, Prisoner of Night by J.R. Ward and so yeah so this is from Steph enjoy your gift happy belated birthday buddy from Stephanie oh my god oh my god okay so ever since Izzy from Happy For Now was just raving about this book I wanted to read it it looks so freaking it sounds so freaking cute look at this cover gorgeous look at that plus size rep oh my god I love it so freaking much oh oh my god this font is tiny this font is tiny oh my god I have to message her so beautiful so beautiful I cannot wait to read this book oh my god okay so I'm gonna message her and say thank you um but yeah, so it's really hot in this house. So I am going to go into the camper. The AC has been running for a little bit in there to try to cool it back down. Um, and I'm just going to hang out in there until my husband needs me because it's 92 degrees in here and it's, it's too hot. It's too hot for that. I'm glad I made it through the live show, but I got to go where it's cooler. Energy. <laughs> like I'll be at work and I'll be like, okay, I've got energy, but I am just going to sit here and not do anything or I'll get so distracted and I'll be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to YouTube. Hi everyone. It is Wednesday, August 26th. Um, just finished the live stream with Jen Jen. My husband is still not home yet uh, from work. So I'm just laying in bed, probably have to figure out what to eat because I haven't eaten anything. Before my live stream, I was watching the live stream with um, India at Life is a Page Turner and Deja at Deja's Burp World. They're amazing, I love them. You should totally subscribe to them if you're not. Um, but also today I did finish The Deal by L. Kennedy. I really, really loved. It's kind of like a new adult uh, college age romance, uh, uh, trigger warnings for rape and sexual assault. It was kind of predictable, but I did enjoy it still. I read Him by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen and I really liked it. So I do wanna read more of her books. Now I'm just going to lay down and wait for my husband to get home. I have no idea when that's going to be. Uh, but for the deal, that was for Friends to Lovers, Summer Fling Romance, Readathon Prompt. And yeah, I really did enjoy it. I'm going to give it four out of five stars. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for the night. Um, I will talk to you all tomorrow.
Hey everyone, it is Thursday, August 27th. Um, it is nearly seven o'clock in the morning. I just got into work and um, hold on, I got a clock in. <laughs> okay. Now I can get paid to talk to you. Okay, so last night during um, the live stream with Jen Jen, she reminded me that we have book club today and, or tonight I should say, and we have to read Sky in the Deep by Adrian, Adrian Young. Um, totally forgot about that. So I have to read this book today, this one. Um, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> um, other than that, um, I don't have any plans. I'm just gonna try to finish this book. Jen Jen's all the way up there. Before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Whenever I go to Rich's grandma's house, I always think I'm coming down with something. I feel like I'm getting a fever because she, you know, she's older. Her skin's very thin, so she gets cold easier, so they keep the house mm -hmm. warmer. And so, yeah, it's like sometimes like 83 in her house. Oh. And Hi, everyone. It is like 8.30 at night on August 27th, Thursday. And I did finish Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. Um, I really liked it. It's honestly your typical YA genre book, but I just thought this was really, really well written. And it has a hate to love romance, which, you know, I'm a sucker for. I love it. And the main character, what's her name? <sighs> Ellen? I think that's her. her name is Ellen, yeah. E E L Y N. Ellen. Um,. I like her like you know she's like this viking warrior badass and i don't know i really i really enjoy her and i think i'm gonna give it four stars the only thing that really i could say bad about this book is that at times it got predictable like i knew i knew things that were gonna happen just like i said because it's your typical ya genre it doesn't really do anything to break the mold it's just it's just well written because um you really care about these characters and um i was invested in the plot so yeah, I'm gonna give it four stars. Um, I started listening to Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and I just heard everyone say that they love this book so much and I just don't think the narrator is doing it for me because I listened to it for about an hour and I don't know, this the narrator is really getting on my nerves and it's kind of taking me out of the story. So I'm gonna stop listening to that <laughs> um, because I just really feel like if I continued on, I wouldn't like the book as much as if I were to physically read it, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop. Because I read Circe by Madeline Miller and I fucking loved it. Actually, I listened to it. The narrator for that one was really good though. Um, but I'm just not, I'm not into it at this point. So I'm just gonna stop before it gets too bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, for Sky in the Deep, um, I didn't, I forgot, honestly, I had to read this book. So I didn't use it for any of the Summer Fling readathon prompts. Oh, let me see if I could probably make it be for one of the prompts, but I doubt it. Hold on. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but anyway, so I have no idea what I'm going to read next. But um, since I did finish uh, Sky in the Deep, I'm going to reward myself and watch Teen Wolf. So that's what I'm going to do. Have a great night, everybody. Hi, everyone. It is Friday, August 28th. Um, it's like four o'clock. I just got home and... Um, I got a package. Enjoy your gift from Charles. Charles. Now, now. I was giving him so much crap during Wind Down Wednesday. Oh, he's so nice. Oh my God. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God gosh he went freaking nuts didn't he he went nuts and then oh my gosh look how beautiful that is 
I love this series so much. I love this series too. Love it. Oh my gosh. Look at it. He's so sweet. Charles is great. I love Charles. I love giving Charles a hard time, but he's fun. <laughs> I'll have to send him a message and say thank you because that is literally three books. People that are sending me books, you're going crazy. Uh, today when I was at work, I was reading The Warrior Spinster Bride. Is it The Warrior? I don't know. I'll put a... <laughs> I'm so terrible. Um, I'll put a picture of the uh, book, but um, it was it's by Ruby Dixon. And it was just like a short little... Um, alien romance novella it uh it has an age gap uh the female protagonist is 33 and the male protagonist is 24 which not really that big of an age gap but there's still an age gap uh, marriage of convenience trope um her she's the daughter of a king and their king was defeated by the male protagonist's like race like alien race by his father not him personally but his father and so they were conquered and they spend the next 16 years just I wouldn't necessarily say in servitude but the oath that her father made was just basically stating that you know he's not you know, or the truce that was made like she will not be queen she'll not be princess she is literally her realm was just taken over um and so the male protagonist his father died and so he has always like loved her since he was like a little boy. So he just wants peace. He just, you know, and he wants her as um, his queen to kind of solidify, you know, their unity through peace and marriage and not necessarily through like war. That's basically what the story is about. And I really liked it. I mean, I, I like Ruby Dixon's writing. I honestly don't think she can write a bad book. I don't think so. This is apparently like a prequel to like, um, the gods one i'll put a picture again i'm terrible i'm sorry yeah i was you know i liked it i liked it a lot and then i started reading the flame in the flower by kathleen e Woodywis. and then i went down the rabbit hole of goodreads one star reviews and um rape culture abounds in this book honestly i i wasn't surprised you know to find that just because this book was written in the 70s it was written in the 70s about seven 1799 I think is um the year that this this book is taking place so it doesn't it honestly doesn't surprise me um but I'm gonna continue reading it it's like it's honestly supposed to be you know the first modern historical romance so I want to read it but we'll see how I feel about it <laughs> when I get to the rapey scenes so um I also I've been carrying this book around with me like for the last three weeks. Like, I'm gonna read this, I swear. I really do like this series. I don't know, it's just, it's really hard for me to physically read a book. Like, if it's not an audiobook, I don't wanna read it. And that's becoming a problem. Because I have plenty of books to finish for the Summer Fling Readathon. How many books? One, two, three, four, five, six, damn it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I've, ten? Fuck, man. It sucks. Well, technically nine, because I did try Song of Achilles and I wasn't liking it, so. Um, I stopped it because I don't want to listen to the audiobook because I don't like the narrator. I'm going to physically read it, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be this week. It's not going to be before the end of Summer Fling either. But, um, so I'm home. Uh, I watched an episode of Teen Wolf at work. I'll probably finish the one I'm on. I'm waiting for my husband to get home because he has to work for another couple hours. I got nothing to do until then except for read and watch Teen Wolf. So that's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow is the Summer Fling live show, like wrap up that we're doing. So that's going to be fun. I can't believe we're at the end of August already. Like where did the freaking time go? I don't know. And yesterday when I was on my laptop, I saw that iMovie had an update. So I'm gonna update that. And then hopefully maybe I can get back to um, editing on iMovie on my laptop because doing it on the phone was, you know, a good option when my laptop wasn't working, but I just can't do as much stuff as I can. So I would like to get back to the old way of doing things and hopefully it works. Um, but if not, um, you'll probably see a very ranty vlog next week. All right. I will, um, update y'all at the end of the night. Hey 
everyone. It is Saturday, August 29th, and we just had the Romance Booktubers, the Summer Fling Readathon live stream wrap up. I know there are a couple more days um, in August. We're not quite done yet, but um, we just wanted to do a final um, wrap up live stream because Saturday just works for all of us. So last night I finished Teen Wolf. <sighs> It was the final episode. I was happy to see Dylan O'Brien as Styles because he has been missing for like this almost entire season. He's only, he, I think he was literally only in maybe five episodes this entire six season. And I don't like that because Styles is my favorite character. And what I also didn't like about uh, the season finale is that Styles and Lydia are together, correct? Because, you know, that whole what happened at the end of 6A. Well, they acted like they hardly even knew each other. Like there was no like epic, you know, like, oh my God, it's been forever. Hi, hug, kiss, you know, hand holding, you know, uber protectiveness that Styles normally is. Like when they weren't even together, like there was none of that. There was no lovey-dovey between them. And it was kind of like very anticlimactic, at least just with the, you know, with my Stidia ship. And I didn't, I didn't like that. Of course, I just, I read a couple of fan fictions, you know, with Stidia. I've even outlined my own Stidia fan fiction and I have ideas for a couple more. You know, when things don't end or are portrayed, you know, you have expectations and they're not done that way. I, for one, since I'm a writer, um, I wanna write it better. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna write Stidia better. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible, but um, anyway. Teen Wolf is no longer gonna be as heavy of an influence in my life, which is sad. With well, a lie detector test determined, that was a lie. Unless it's just about writing this fan fiction or reading fan fiction. Um, I was also reading um, The Flame and the Flower for the old school historical prompt for the Summer Fling Readathon, and I'm not enjoying it at all like at all i'm only like probably like 50 or 60 pages in maybe and it's very rapey like very rapey um our main male protagonist rapes our female protagonist and they're supposed to be love interests he mistakes her for a prostitute and actively saying no and when he finds out like the next day like oh we just mistook you for a prostitute and stole you and put you on my ship perfect you'll just be my mistress now i'll put you up in a home and you'll learn to like sex i'm sorry what is happening here you know it's like this is supposed to be like the first modern historical and i'm just like this ain't it this is not it especially i don't like when books portray the male protagonist as harmful and hurtful towards the female protagonist. Like y'all are supposed to be love interests. Like she's supposed to rule your world and here you are raping her and you're not even sorry. I'm mad. I'm very upset. So I'm going to DNF it. That's what I've decided. And that's what the ladies, the lovely ladies, when we were doing our live stream, that's what they, you know, encouraged me to do is he's like, put it down. You're not enjoying it. And I don't want to put myself in a reading slump because that is a great way to do it. Just to try to power through this book. Um, I would literally hate life. So I've decided to DNF The Flame and the Flower by Kathleen E. Woody was, um, I gave it a shot. Um, I'm probably not going to rate it. It's just, it was... It was not good. It was not good, y'all. I tried. I tried for the old school historical. I really tried. The one prompt that I have not read anything for yet is Dark and Dangerous, and I have either Sea of Ruin or Angel Falls, so I'm probably going to pick up Sea of Ruin um, just because I want to read that a little bit more than Angel Fall. Um, so yeah, I'll try to finish that before the readathon ends. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do. I have got to um, categorize all these books in my Book Buddy app. And then I also got to move all of these books and all of these books. See all that? I got to move these books because my husband wants this desk. You see that? To be against that wall. That's what he wants. So I don't want it there, but that's where my husband wants it. And we're not talking to him right now because of it. He just thinks it's too, he's too claustrophobic over on his desk because now it's like a U shaped instead of like a long L. So he's like, I feel claustrophobic over here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've known you for 15 years and you're not claustrophobic. So 
whatever. So that is my plan for the day. I'm also going to look on either OfferUp or like the Facebook marketplace and just look for a bookshelf to put into my bedroom because obviously like these books need to go, they need to go somewhere and I don't have any more shelf space. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Everybody. it is Sunday August 30th yes August 30th yesterday I didn't really read anything else at night we went um, to dinner with our cousins and we went to uh, two escape rooms and we did top golf so that was fun today I am going to be tackling what I should have done yesterday which is um, clean out this corner so I can move my desk against that wall so that's what I'm gonna do Hopefully, I'll find an audiobook to listen to. My, my husband and I decided to ride our bikes in the storm. <laughs> now we have to hurry up and get home. <laughs> hey everybody, it's like nine o'clock at night and just been laying in bed. Today, while I was kind of cleaning off all the books over here, didn't really do a whole lot because they're just all over here now just moved him like a foot <laughs> but um while I was doing that I was listening to the AI who loved me by Alyssa Cole and I really liked it I really really enjoyed it it's kind of like a little plot twist in there that I kind of saw coming it just like turned up the enjoyment for me just a little bit I would have liked this to have been like a full-length novel because like she built a whole world like a whole ass world in this novella and I want more. It was just so, so good. I really, really enjoyed it. Five stars, most definitely. Uh, not a part of the Summer Fling readathon. Honestly, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with the readathon because I don't feel like reading anything that's on my TBR for it. So I don't know. I might change my mind <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's technically the last day. So we shall see. My husband and I, we went on a bike ride. We got caught in a storm. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And we're just gonna go to bed. Uh, might continue to browse YouTube, looking for Dylan O'Brien videos because that's what I've been doing ever since I finished Team Wolf. I just gotta watch literally everything that Dylan O'Brien has. And that's it, that's it for this week's vlog. If you made it to the end, uh, put a wolf emoji in the comments because I finished Team Wolf this week, so. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I hope the start of your week is wonderful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.